Hey everybody, it's me, obviously. I am sitting in my husband's big Ford truck that he's had for 20 years. I am on my way to the country property so that we can um, mow and move stuff around and continue to do work. Um, but I wanted to pop on because I want to just acknowledge that we are beginning our class next weekend. So it starts up, up, up again on the 28th, which is Saturday, and we are going to have our first class at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Central Standard Time, and then on Sunday we're going to have another class, same time, Central Standard Time. Hey, Christine, how are you doing? And I just wanted everybody, when you watch this, to set your intention to start thinking about what it is that you want to get out of this program and what it is that you want to manifest in terms of the angels um, the class is obviously called channeling angels and so if your communication with the angels is something that you really want to open or activate or to understand then like set that intention I find that when we set the intention and when we identify what it is that we desire to create or to begin in our life and then we take the action steps which here the action steps would be taking the class talking about it talking after the class talking with each other when we do those two things intention and then action that's when momentum really starts to come into the picture and things start to happen and so don't be surprised when you set this intention and you start leaning into what's coming through this program to, that things will start happening in your life as some of you know I'm presently teaching in the intuitive intensive it's been a um, we've this is our ninth week and it has been an intensive but I told those students just as I'll tell you and it really does apply to you as well even though we're only doing a two-day class that don't be surprised that things start kind of escalating in your life spiritually speaking don't be surprised if you start having more vivid dreams or more synchronicities are happening don't be surprised if you start seeing things like angel numbers or you start having evidences show up in your life and we'll talk about some of what those evidences are and how angels typically communicate with us but I just want you to be aware awareness is so very powerful and I often say I mean I say it so much I'm probably a broken record I say that the majority of spirit messages and in particular angel messages are actually missed by us because we're not really paying attention we're not checking the life and the different areas of the life what's happening in relationships what's happening in our spaces our homes what's happening in our thoughts we're not paying attention and so when spirit does or when the angels do deposit information or energy or adjustments we don't receive it because we don't know that we're getting it and so we miss so much and so just practicing the discipline of of awareness and noticing is going to be incredibly important I'll tell you in the class but let me share with you now because I think things are going to start to spike up for some of us that spirit and angels like to speak to us on the periphery of our lives so on the outskirts of our lives they like to insert patterns and insert synchronicities and repetition and numbers and little things like songs and lyrics that might get our attention because of course they never are going to make us do anything because that goes against our free will again we'll talk all about that but that's the way they begin usually to communicate with you but because your angels at this time know that you're here you're showing up and that you're ready for this information and I hope that you're ready for this up leveling because they know that they're going to start intentionally populating your life with some of these evidences so you got to be looking you have to be paying attention I want everybody to for the next week to just start noticing what they're thinking what are you feeling what's the energy like in the space where you are are you hearing things is there a hum is there a frequency are you seeing images are you seeing patterns notice that and when that happens it'd be really great to write it down to that end um, as a preparation tip I would like to recommend that everybody have a journal I tell this to my students for every class and if you've been in my other classes then you've probably heard this before but it is so important to write everything 
down. Writing it down embeds it in our awareness and when it's embedded in our awareness, it then begins to manifest in our materiality. It begins to manifest in our experience. And when we have something like a pretty journal or an angel journal or a special sacred journal where we're doing this sacred angel work, it adds an even extra energetic zhuzh to it. Do you know what I mean? It just makes it more sacred, makes the whole thing more special. And the angels honor that. We honor that. And we'll talk about angel altars and angel pendants and when we have an angel altar we can even keep our angel journal right there on the altar just to keep it calibrated to super high vibe stuff because what we want to do is we want to channel and a lot of that's going to come through um, the form of writing uh, and there's gonna be a lot of stuff we'll talk about that later but have having a ceremonial journal is just something that I find really helpful so I wanted to make that recommendation we have a week and a day so there's time to go out just to get like a maybe a nice little thing maybe you already have one maybe you have something set up already but if you don't just think about it because for me it's just a nice special touch and I just think it makes everything more sacred yeah I want us to have some flow with it because I did, I, I used to do kind of an annual class called All About Angels, and it was super comprehensive, like real crazy. And I'm actually going to try and give you guys a lot of the information that I gave in that comprehensive class. But I don't want to overwhelm you because that's important as well. But I also want to flow. So we've got two classes that we have scheduled already, but be prepared for me to pop up at any old time, kind of like a jack in the box. <laughs> and start talking about stuff that the angels might want us to be talking about and be prepared for some flow with the energy as I teach when I teach. For those of you who don't know, um, I love the content so much. You can, you can feel it in the way that I teach, but often like spirit will come right in and I'll start to channel at the same time. And so it's not uncommon in the midst of teaching or at the end of teaching for me to like kind of segue right into um, giving attunements or messages and things like that so just if, if you're willing to kind of let spirit be the author of this program I mean we have an outline we've got stuff we're going to learn but let spirit really take the wheel it get it'll be even better than 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 we expect that's what I want to do so I hope that you are cool with that as well get ready people because angelic energy is bananas I know some of you Val for example I mean I know you guys probably already know the power of angel energy it's got the power to shift change recalibrate miraculously transcend I mean angelic energy is unlike any other energy truly and and I've worked with a, a lot of different energy and um, dimensionality and things like that angelic energy is just the most powerful pure loving awesome energy and we're gonna talk about Archangel lineage some of you already know about that I've talked a little bit about it free on the internet but we're going to talk about it a little more deeply and talk about how we can try and identify which one or two archangels we are related to because the archangels had a hand in our creation so isn't it interesting which archangel do you think you're connected to i know who i'm connected to but i had to go through a process to figure that out often well i used to do readings for people and i'd be able to tell them who their angels were i could be able to look at their energy and say, oh, you're a match, you're a Michael person. Oh, you're, you're a, definitely a Joe Fiel person. And I would get that information very quickly. But we can learn on our own to figure out who we're actually connected to. Like we have a grandfather archangel. And when we know who they are and what their characteristics are, well, that's when we can start spiking into that energy and running it into our life. We're going to talk about a little bit of the universal architecture, like how it all works and how angels fit into all of that and how we fit into that with the archangels and why the collab, the, the mix that we can have with, with the angels in this life makes it not just possible, but probable if you know how to do it and if you want to do it to like absolutely change your life, intelligently design your life. Now that doesn't mean life doesn't get weird. It does. I'm in a weird phase of my life. Perhaps you've noticed I'm in this truck because I'm moving. And, um, you know, lots of shift, lots of change, but I'm not resisting it. It doesn't mean life isn't weird and sometimes hard, but when you collab <laughs> with the angels and with your I am, and when you understand how it all works, 
that's when you can start getting on that master level of creation and manifestation and moving things around in the life from a higher level like seeing it from a totally different vantage point so clearly i'm excited just get ready set that intention move in the direction of what's about to happen and say thank you and then get a journal like prepare like prepare your space prepare your mind prepare your heart for what's to come that's all i wanted to say today guys i love each and every one of you and i will see you probably before next week but for sure next saturday at two o'clock central time Bye bye